Okay, so our process uh, for developing a user interface um, really starts out at an understanding phase where we go through the complete user manual of, of the current product that's out. And, um, and then we start to look at what's all there. From that, we basically sketch out what it is that uh, what we're finding out. And what we try to do is we try to start to organize this into clusters. So in this phase, we've taken this information and started to work it out and just clean it up and show what exactly is there. Um, from that, we work with the client to understand what are the, what categories are related and what categories are outliers and what features are going to be brought forward, what features are going to fall to the back. And we use these as, uh, we take notes on this, um, on these plots. Um, we like to use plots uh, because it allows everyone in the room to see what's going on at a glance and they can see it all in context. Um, if we would do it, say, through a PowerPoint presentation or something like that, you have to move from slide to slide, and it's really difficult to see the real big scope of everything. Um, so um, this is documented digitally, so if somebody wants to see it, you can, you can go into a, a digital program and see it, but for the, for the case of uh, working with the client, we like to go with, with paper. Um, from this, this was just looking at the, the just the contents of everything. And then what we did is we took that and created a journey map. So we're looking at the, uh, the user's journey through the program. So this was all um, data, features that they have. This was all how somebody goes through the, the interface in order to use it in a logical way intuitive way. So we have plots of those, but we ran out of whole space. Um, so the next thing that you do after you have your, your journey map completed is we go into a uh, wireframe or workflow uh, process. So what that does is it takes all the features, the journey, and then combines it into a workable format where someone can actually navigate through. So these are the, all the screens for, for the GUI um, and all of the um, variables that someone can set inside of it. Um, we're not really considered, um, uh, con concerned about aesthetics at this point. We're more, we're more concerned about the workflow and how this is gonna go and what kind of space is gonna be required for the, for the interface. Each one of these rectangles is the actual size of the, the monitor that we're going to be using for the product. Um, so we're looking a little bit at ergonomics, we're looking a little bit at um, space and layout, but really we're looking at that workflow and how it all comes together. With this, you, I don't know if you can zoom in on these blue lines or not, they're kind of small, but each one of these is has has a relationship attached to it. So if I hit this auto shutdown, it's going to come over to a, uh, a, uh, another related component in the GUI. So we're, we're thinking about how, how all this goes together. And from this, what we do is we create a, a prototype of the wireframe. And so um, Beto is a master at taking that information and converting it over into a workable prototype that somebody can pull up on their laptop or desktop or even on their phone and take it and navigate through. And um, so we can start to get an idea of where we have some pitfalls before we start getting into any coding or anything like that. Um, so once all that is completed and we've got a good um, direction on how this workflow is going to go, we come over here to the aesthetics. And so this wall is all a series of iterations of aesthetics. So 
This takes everything that we had on the wireframe workflow and converts it into something that is going to be um, appropriate for the, for the company, for its clients, and for that market. And we start looking at aesthetic options on how we could work this. A little bit of navigation flow as well. Um, this is all first round. This is coming in the second round. We start looking at it in context. So we start looking at the, the user interface as it relates to the product it's going to live inside of. And um, our next round is going to be to take these and, and iterate one more time to pick a final direction. From that, we'll create a, um, another prototype like Beto did before on the, uh, on the wireframe that will be testable. And so we can take that out to the field and have the users um, interact with the product, having them do specific tasks, and then we can um, find out what's, what's good and what's bad about it, bef again, before we get into coding. Um, this also works as a template for those that are doing the, um, the, uh, the coding of how this all should work. So it, it's, it, it makes sure that the design intent is maintained and the usability is maintained through all the processes of getting it into production.